hello everyone welcome back so in the previous video we worked on our exercises screen and in this video we will work on our exercise details model now we need to work on our exercise details model so let's go to that file and here we got the item data so if i click on any card you will see at the console we are getting the item data which includes body part equipment cable gif url so all this data will be displayed on this model so let's minimize it and let's move this and give this container a class of flex1 and flex so that it takes full space so the first thing we need to add is the gif url of the exercise and we need to wrap a view around it so that we can display a shadow so the shadow color background will be neutral 200 and we need to make it rounded from the bottom let's say 40 pixels let's close this now inside here we're gonna add the image of the exercise and let's add source but uh, let's add the image from expo image because it also uses cache and that will improve our performance as well so let's import the image from our exercise list let's copy this import statement in here and let's replace it okay so we're gonna add the source and that will be uri as item dot gif url because that's what we got from our api data and the next property we're gonna add is the content fit property that will be cover and we need to style it and give it a width but we need to import our responsive library so let's go to home and copy the library from here paste it here now let's give it a width of wp100 and height will be wp100 as well not the hp100 so let's close it and save it okay so our simulator is froze and this is i'm not sure if this is the issue with expo router because i was working with the models previously and whenever i made some changes with the models the simulator froze and i had to reload the application to see the changes so i guess we'll just have to reload the application to see the changes so now we can see our image and we have a gif image but we need to make it rounded from the bottom so let's add a class and we need to make it rounded like 40 pixels and there it goes again it just freezes again i know it's very annoying but it doesn't happen when we finish the updates and it just works fine so it only happens when you made some change okay so the image is rounded next we're gonna add a button that displays over this image so let's add a touchable opacity and let's add an on press method and in here we're gonna use our router so let's define our router using the use router hook from expo router and we need to go back to previous screen using this router so let's use router dot back method now let's add a class name as well and give it a margin horizontal of 2 and we need to make it absolute so that it goes on top of that image and we need to make it rounded margin top of 2 and right 0 now let's close it and we're gonna add an icon inside this now it should display on the top right corner over here so now we need to add an icon so let's move to our icon library we were using vector icons let's search for the close icon i think we can use the close circle from ant design so let's move to our editor and we need to copy the import statement for this icon so let's just copy the ionicons one let's copy it here let's also copy the syntax for the icon let's copy this one in our touchable opacity so first we need to change the name of the icon so let's copy the closed circle icon let's copy it here now we're gonna import this icon from and design not from the ionicons so we need to change the import statement let's also change the name to add icons and let's copy it here let's also increase the size to 4.5 and the color will be a very specific red color f435fe and let's save this and now we need to reload the app to see the changes get started back 
this exercise and now we can see the icon and when you click on it it moves back to the previous screen okay so next we're gonna add all the details about this exercise so let's add a comment details and now we're gonna add a scroll view let's import it from react native and let's give it a class name of margin horizontal of four spacing vertical of two and a margin top of three as well now first we're gonna add the name of the exercise so let's add a text component and inside let's just add item dot name and now if i click on the exercise we will see the name of the exercise let's just close it so that it don't freeze again and now we're gonna give it a responsive font size of hp 3.5 and let's also add a class name to make it semi bold and for the text color let's use text neutral of 800 and tracking should be wide okay let's save this and check this out so now our name looks good so now we're gonna copy this component one more time to show the equipment that will be used for this exercise so let's copy it down here and we won't be using font size of hp 3.5 let's just make it 2 and we're not making it fonts bold now inside this we're gonna first say equipment and we're gonna show the equipment name in a bolder text so let's add another text component and give it a class name of fonts bold and the text neutral color should be 800 and let's close this and inside this we're gonna show item dot equipment if i can spell it okay so let's save this and let's reload go to back open the exercise okay we can see the equipment text and i think we need to make the equipment color a little light so let's use neutral 700 and that will be 800 so now we're gonna copy this one more time to show all the secondary muscles that will be used for this exercise so let's rename it to secondary muscles and in here we are gonna show secondary muscles i think this property is an array of all the muscles so if i show it like this it should show all the muscles separated by commas so let's see how it shows yeah it shows all the muscles by commas so let's just leave it like that so now we're gonna copy this again for our target muscle so let's change this to target and we're gonna show the target muscle from our item so item dot target and let's save this and this will show the target muscle as well so next and the last property is we're gonna use instructions so let's copy our exercise name because we're gonna use the same style let's change this to instructions and the only change we're gonna made is to the font size let's make it three and the rest will be fine so now let's add the instructions for this exercise so item dot instructions now the instructions is also an array of the text but when we pass this data to this component it somehow got converted and now it's a comma separated text so if we see the data this is the data and we can see this is the instructions property and you will see each instruction at the end we will see a comma so this is the each instruction in an array so now what we can do is we can split this string by comma and this will give us an array of all the instructions so let's use split method and this will give us an array of all the instructions and this will give us an instruction and the index and we will return a text component first we need to add some properties to this component so let's add a key for each child that will be instruction now let's add a responsive font size that will be font size of hp 1.7 and let's add a class name to change the text color that will be neutral 800 like this and inside this we will just display the instruction and let's save this okay so let's move to exercise and now we can see all the instructions for the exercise as well 
but we don't want this scroll bar so now we need to hide it so this was coming from our scroll view so let's add a property scroll bar indicator let's make it false and let's add a padding bottom to our container let's have a padding bottom of 60 and save this okay i think it just froze so let's reload go to back open the exercise and now we can see our instructions and we have a little padding at the bottom so our exercise details model is also complete and we can see all the exercise details so with this our application is almost complete and the only thing left to do is add the animations to all the screens we added the animation in our welcome screen now we're gonna add animation in body parts in exercises and the details model so first we're gonna add animation to this exercises body parts list so for that we need to move to our body parts component here is our body part components okay here so here first we need to wrap our container with animated library so let's use animated this will auto import now we're gonna add entering property and we're gonna use the animation fade in down then we're gonna add the duration that will be 400 milliseconds that will be the whole duration for the animation and we can already see them animating but i want to add a delay for each item and that delay will be incremental for each item so we'll use index multiplied by 200 and that will increase for each item so now when i open the home screen you will see each item animates one after another so next we're gonna use the springify method to have a spring like motion uh, if you're wondering how i'm using all of these properties you can visit a reanimated library and here you will see all the documentation of how this animation works in our case we are using fade in down animation with duration and we are also using springify but we can use other methods with this function as well so we can use damping mass stiffness and here is the detail about all these functions so the point is you can visit their documentation and see how this animation works so let's move back now that we have added springify so let's see it let's move back and go to home screen now we have a spring like motion and we can use other functions like let's say we use damping of three and the lower damping means our spring animation will be more bouncier so if we see again all our cards are bouncing so the point is you can make very beautiful animations with this but you can also mess things up if you don't read the documentation so next we're gonna add animation to this exercise list and because we're gonna use very similar animation so let's just copy this line here and we're gonna move to exercise list and let's add it here now we need to import animated library and the fade in down animation as well and this will be a very similar animation so this will use the index and 200 millisecond delay for each item and you can see this is already animating so if i go back and move to other exercises you can see all the items just fades in from the bottom and it looks very smooth so we can see all the exercises for all the other body parts as well so now we're gonna move to exercise details model and we're gonna add animations to these instructions so let's go to our exercise details and the first thing we're gonna do is add our animation for the name of the exercise so let's wrap this text with animated dot text let's add ending property and we're gonna use the same animation fade in down so let's import it and we're gonna use the duration let's use the duration of 300 this time and add our springify method now let's save this and let's see if that is working so it is animating but uh, let's add animation to other properties as well so let's close it and let's copy this tag with the entering property and paste it here and now we're gonna use a delay so that it animates after the name so let's add a 100 millisecond delay and similarly we're gonna copy this for the rest of the items and we're gonna keep increasing the delay so all the items will be animating one after another and that will look very smooth 
now let's copy for the instruction as well and let's add the delay of 400 the duration will be 300 that's fine now let's copy it for the instruction text that's in a loop so we're gonna have to work on that later but for now let's add a delay for 500 and let's save it now we'll see a very smooth animation all the things will just animate one after another and if i open other exercise it works for them as well now you will notice that all the instruction text will animate at the same time it's not animating like others like one after another so now we're gonna have to fix that and the reason is we are using 500 delay for all the items in a loop now we're gonna have to make it so that it increases the delay for each item so let's add index plus six multiplied by 100 now this logic will increase the delay for each item in a loop for the instructions so let's open again and you can see all the items just fades in from the bottom and it creates a very smooth transition which i really like so now let's close it and move back let's reload the application to give you a full demo of the app let's reload okay our text in the header is black i don't know why so let's move to our welcome page and we have the index.jsx and we already have this so let's just copy this and move it somewhere else let's add it at the bottom let's save it okay now we can see our text is white i think it was cache issue so now let's reload and let's give you a demo actually let's make our simulator large like this and let's reload again okay we can see animation on our welcome screen and if we go to home screen we can see the animation for the body parts as well at the top we have this very beautiful image carousel with parallax effect and at the bottom we can see all the body parts and if you click on any body part it will list all the exercises for that body part and all the cards will just fade in from the bottom and if you open an exercise it will open a model that will list all the information about that exercise and all the information will also fade in from the bottom with very smooth effect so similarly you can go to other exercises and you can list all the exercises and open all their details so with this our application is complete and if you find this video helpful do like the video and subscribe the channel i've already uploaded this on github and included the github repo into the video description so you can check out the code and maybe give it a star and if you still have any questions about anything you can ask them into the comment section and if i know the answer i'll try to answer them as soon as possible and don't forget to subscribe the channel so see you in the next video